Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be going through this amazing little sensor. So this is a 3D gesture sensor from a company called CQ Robot. It's a great little bit of kit that has a lot of handy features for the kind of projects that you'd want to use the sensor for. So in this video, we're going to be going through what some of my favorite features are. And then at the end, we're going to be putting together a very simple project that we can test to see how the sensor works and some of its features. So let's get into it. So let's start off by going through some of the features that I think makes this a really good sensor. So off the bat, you guys can see that it's actually quite a small sensor, which means that any project you use it for, hopefully this won't contribute too much to the size. So if I get my ruler, you can see it measures just about two and a half centimeters in height. And again, just about two and a half centimeters in width. As a comparison, if I put the sensor up against an Arduino Uno, you can see how much smaller it is. So again, it just means that when you use this in a project, hopefully it won't make the project too big, which is always really important. And the second thing that makes this sensor so good are the, it's the range of gestures that I can recognize. So obviously you've got your standard left to right, top to bottom. But what this also does is recognizes an up down. So if you sort of come down towards it, it actually recognizes it as a down push, which I think is amazing. And similarly, if you put your hand and pull up, it, it recognizes an upwards form. So those two, you can already start to think of some really cool use cases with those two gestures. In addition, it recognizes clockwise and counterclockwise, and I also believe it recognizes a wave. So you've got a really nice range of gestures that you can use. And the third good feature of the sensor is how easy it is to use the different microcontrollers. So if you look at the pinout, you've got five standard pins. You've got your power, ground, SDA, SCL, and interrupt. And that means this can be used with pretty much any microcontroller you can think of. It comes with some female jumper leads already attached. So you'll need to put some male ones in and then you can use that with a breadboard or however you're planning to use it. But all in all, in my sort of brief experiments with this, it's very easy to use. The project we're going to make is quite simple and it only involves three main components. Obviously, we've got our gesture sensor, we've got an Arduino Uno, and then we have an 8x8 LED matrix. So, the plan that I have in mind is obviously to connect these components up. And what I want is anytime I perform a gesture over the sensor, I want some corresponding symbol to come up on the LED matrix. So, for example, if I swipe up, I want an up arrow, down, down arrow, so on and so forth. It's probably not the most exciting project we could do, but I think it's a good way of testing how well this works and then we get some nice visual feedback. So that's the plan. I'm gonna head over into ChatGPT to tell it what I want to do and let it guide me and then we can go ahead and get this put together. Once I had all the components ready, I headed over into ChatGPT and told it what I had in mind. So I told it I wanted to use a CQ Robot 3D gesture sensor with an Arduino Uno and an 8x8 LED matrix and I asked it to give me the wiring instructions and the sketch that I could use. With that information in hand, it was time to get the breadboard ready and to upload the sketch onto the Uno. So here we are with the finished circuit. We've got our Uno over here, LED matrix, and of course the gesture sensor. So now is the moment of truth. We've got the sketch uploaded onto the Uno. Let's go ahead and plug it in and see how this goes. Okay, that's a good sign. So I'm gonna start with the up gesture. Lovely. Down.
Right guys, so we were able to get the circuit working and detecting all the main gestures that we perform. So up, down, left, right, back and forward, it has no problem detecting and it's quite a nice sensitive sensor. It doesn't go off too easily, nor do you have to try too hard to get it to go off. I'm sure that can be adjusted in the sketch, but otherwise, this is the great sensor and I'm glad I bought it. And here guys, you can see it in the serial monitor that when I perform the different gestures over on the sensor, the serial monitor prints out exactly what I'm doing. So that's the right sense and gesture, forward, back, down and up. So that's all, that's all working as planned. And that's it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider liking, subscribing and leaving some comments down below just to show the channel some support. As always, I'll leave some links to similar projects that I've done in the past and I'll see you guys in the next one.